Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a brand new term at Hogwarts. Yes, today I'm having a little bit of a look at Hogwarts Legacy. Now, not so long back there was an actual VR mod from Luke Ross to play this game in, well, obviously in VR, of course. But, well, we've got UEVR now, and there's been a lot of uh, researching and that kind of thing into what's the best settings for this. There's mods made. And, well, I thought, it's about time I play this game in UEVR. So, here we are. So, we're going to do a couple of things, first of all. So, let's inject UEVR. Okay, so we've got UEVR injected, and as you can see, we're in a little bit of a strange place that we probably don't really want to be. Okay, so let's just have a little look at maybe changing that to something else. There we go. So I've changed that from native stereo to sync sequential and it, well, it looks pretty damn good. Never it does. So let's just do all these. Right, now, there is probably very likely a profile for this. I haven't actually checked it out just yet. So let's just see what we can do about giving this a shot in first person. Because, well, we all want to be wizards, don't we, Harry? I mean, we all want to try out playing this in first person. Right, so that's it. The character's invisible. And let's just have a little bit of a wander around so I can straight away just see my shadow. So let's just go back into some of these settings and have a little bit of a look at a couple of these. Now, it'd be nice if we could get a, a six degree of freedom motion controllers, although I don't think that's going to happen. But this does feel a little bit weird at the moment. So let's just enable room scale. Okay, it's still a little bit weird. I think I know what it's going to sort that out. Get the camera enable decouple pitch. Right, that should sort it out now. Right, there we go. And let's see if we can get the input. And maybe put this as head. And perhaps put the UI on UI follows view. There we go. So now I can't move up and down with the controller. But I can move left and right the way I'm looking. That seems like a, a pretty decent first person profile. At least from where I'm standing. Right, so there you go. We've now got a pretty reasonable first person experience. We can just see what this plays like. Now this is one way of playing Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously the downside is the potential when you come to cutscenes. You may not see obviously your character. That kind of thing. Let's have a little bit of a wander around so you can see what this is like in this first person perspective. So let's just uh, wander around Hogwarts. Now it's been quite a while since I've played this. But it does look absolutely fabulous. Now... I can't honestly remember the controls at the moment. This is just a short video because I need to learn how to play the game again. I'm just showing you a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy in UEVR. Well, well, that's pretty impressive. There's a bush here in the shape of a dragon. And, well, it's alive. Hello. How are you? Looking a little bit... Bushy, what's that you want me to leave you alone? Becoming a bit of a, a thorn in your side? Well, I think I've twigged on what you're trying to say. Right, anyway, looks like this is just a very short video just to show you some of Hogwarts Legacy using UVVR and how easy it is to set the game up using a first person profile. I mean, looks like I've not played this for I don't know how long and I've just managed to do that pretty much on the fly okay so right, I'm a little bit fed up so let's get out of here 
and see Hogwarts from another perspective. Right, so I'm on my broom. Well, this is... Oh, there's all them kites. Well, I have uh, had a bit of a fly around Hogwarts before. But that was using the Luke Ross mod. Now I'm using UEVR. And, well, it's a little bit more interesting. Right, so let's have a little bit of a fly. All the way here. Right, well this is, uh, this is magic, isn't it? Well, literally. So, right, as I was saying, this is one way how you can play Hogwarts in VR. It might well be the best way. There is also a mod that you can get the game to play in first person, if you so wish. Now, I'm going to save this profile because I'm wondering if I can get sixed off or anything like that and see if we can get this wand attached or even maybe get it done as three off. That would be cool. But, well, we're just going to have a bit of a... A, a whiz round the uh, castle but this is miles better than the Lou Gross mod miles better so if you've playing the Lou Gross mod in first person uninstall it, bin it, get yourself UEVR it's completely free Oh, I think that might be the astronomy tower. Dumbledore, don't jump! Oh, too late, never mind. Well, this is absolutely great. Anyway, I'm not going to sit here and just keep doing laps of the castle. Oh no, that's the astronomy tower, isn't it? Well, what was that then? Roy, right, yeah, as I was saying, this is absolutely great. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. I'm going to save the profile and see if we can get any kind of degrees of freedom. Three off, six off, anything like that. But otherwise, this looks pretty good just for a profile off the fly. I'm just going to end this video just here. This is Headset VR playing Hogwarts Legacy in UEVR. A custom profile that I've just made on the fly. And you've seen how I've done it, so if you want to make one, you can. Otherwise, there is a first-person mod that you can play this game with. I don't know how that plays, but we're going to come back and we're going to do a video for that. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this profile. See, like I say, if we can get ones attached to hands, anything like that. See if we can improve upon it. But otherwise, it's pretty great. This is Headset VR. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. If you like what you see, chuck us a thumbs up. And I don't mean the student there in the funny short trousers. I mean the video. And if you want to see more VR-related content, then subscribe to the channel. You'll see every... You're right, mate. You're smoking. You'll see every bit of uploaded content on the channel. And if you've got any, any comments you want to make, please chuck them in the usual place. I'll respond to as many as I can. Now, look, so I've literally made this on the fly. It isn't perfect. It is first person, though. And we can do a few interesting things. Maybe like shoving that where the sun doesn't shine. If you can see this fella here, 
there is a little bit of haze in rain the edge of him so i don't know whether that's something we can look at getting rid of i don't know but i'm just glad that we've got it working to start with and i'll keep working on this profile yep yeah. well i'm gonna do exactly the same thing mate i'm gonna say thanks very much although that's not what he said but i'm gonna say goodbye and we'll see you for the next video take care folks and expelliarmus